Hello, Maria. Hello, Maria. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello, Reina. Hello. Hello, Marcos. teacher. Hello, Maria. Hello, Evelyn. How are you? Fine. I fine. Excellent. What information do you remember about yesterday's class? What information do you remember from yesterday's class? Good evening. Hello, good evening. What information do you remember from yesterday's class? Used to going to? Months and dates. Simple. Very good. Using months and dates. Correct. Can you give me an example? Uh, for example, uh, when is your uh, birthday? Correct. When is your birthday? Very good. Mm -hmm. Another example. Yeah. Celebration USA. Excellent. Special holidays in the USA. Correct. Yes. Another example. Uh, San Valentine's Day, uh, February 14th. Correct. Valentine's Day is February 14th. Another example. Um. Independence Day is uh, July 4th, uh, 14th? Correct, 4th? correct. All right, very good. Veo que Maria Imelda remembers everything. I like Thank that. You. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Maria. So today I would like for us to get it, move forward and we're going to be looking at section one. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Let's look at the first section. Yesterday, we looked at section 1, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 1.7. And we looked at holidays in the US. This is a review. Listen, please. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so we did this yesterday. So today we're looking at section 1.9, real life settings, conversations, Valentine's Day. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's? It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's gonna like that. How about you? What are you gonna do? Well, I'm not gonna go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be 
plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that, we need to add going to. Then we have the verb get. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end there. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with be going to. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Now you have to make five questions. Five questions. With what, how, be verb, subject, going to, verb, and complement. Five questions and you are going to write the questions here in the discussion forum do you have any questions all right i'm going to give you 10 minutes huh evelyn con la respuesta no, for this exercise, only the questions. Only the questions. Okay. Five examples. Are you ready? Let's go. Going to, bueno, no es going, sino que supuestamente es gonna, ¿verdad? Gonna, ajá. Uh -huh, gonna, sí. es, es como dicen los, así dicen los gringos. Uh, what are you gonna, gonna do for Valentine's Day? O sea, what are, what are you gonna to do, what are you gonna do for Mother's Day? Solo hay que cambiar el... El, el día especial, los holidays. Los holidays, ¿verdad? Sí, y ¿verdad? hacerla con la fórmula del... W question, más el verbo to be, el sujeto, el auxiliar going to, el verbo y el complemento. Pero solo sería cuadrar y el where are you going? Where are you going to sí. go? Podríamos iniciar con ese de cuándo es el día de las madres. Uh -huh, mother's o day. ¿Qué va a ser el día de las madres? Uh -huh. What are you going to do for the Mother's Day? Uh -huh. Y luego el siguiente podría ser, eh, siempre tiene que ser con... Con, con holiday. Con holidays. Sí. Podríamos poner el de Christmas. What oh. are you going to do? What are you going gonna? Oh. 
Paola. Going to do for Christmas Day. Christmas, Christmas Day. ¿Qué otro podemos poner? Solo creo que la parte del verbo antes del complemento, ese sí se lo tendríamos que ir cambiando también. ¿Cuál es este verbo? Eh, eh, antes del complemento hay otro verbo. Eh, Por ejemplo, uh -huh. según la fórmula hay un verbo, entonces ese creo que sí deberíamos de irselo cambiando. Mm. Por ejemplo, hay una pregunta que dice, how are you going to get there? Eh, creo que me imagino cómo van a llegar Ajá, ellos. ¿Cómo van a llegar ellos? ¿O van a llegar allí? Podríamos hacer una con ese una de esas para How are you How are you going to go now? Quiero ver. Where are you going? Where are you gonna? O, oh, por ejemplo, how are you parents going, going to celebrate New Year's? ¿Cómo va a ser? Who are? Sí. Podría ser. How are your parents? Gonna, gonna to, going to, no, gonna to. Gonna, gonna celebrate. Ajá. Uh -huh. Celebration que, eh, mm, New Year, o. Oh. Oh. Thanksgiving. But not Thanksgiving is there. Who are you going? Who are you gonna? Who are you gonna? Celebration Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Quiero ver qué otra. Mm -hmm. Que, igual que eh, la otra, so where are you going to go? O sea, ¿cómo, van a, cómo se van a ir? Pero podría ser, puede, uh -huh. podría ser, where are you going? Where are, como que es, ¿dónde van a ir? Where are you going to go? Aquí sería, where are, where are you going? Going to. ¿Dónde van a...? Tal vez este... ¿Where are you going to see the movie? O este... ¿Play the qué? O, sí, see the movie tal vez. O podríamos poner también... ¿Where are you going on the weekend? Algo como donde eras el fin de semana. Uh -huh. right. Where are you going to go? Oh, tendría que ser on, on weekend. On, on the weekend. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, dijo. Estaba observando hoy, en, estaba viendo la clase que queda grabada en YouTube. Sí. Y, y algunas personas, en este espacio que, que, que nos pone por grupos, selecciona algún grupo que, que queda. O sea, no se dan ni cuenta que lo están grabando. <risa> uh, quedaría hard to going to get... Quizás 
pues podría ser otro de where, where are you going? Como preguntarle qué hará el día de su cumpleaños o el día de su graduación. Uh -huh. Where are you going to to do? It says to do. Uh -huh. Where are you going to do for? What are you going to do for? For qué? For birthday or for? For for, qué? for graduation. O aniversario también. Anniversary. Son como las palabras que me acuerdo que estuve repasando. Estuve. Uh, Sí, porque for graduation no se oye muy bien for ahora podríamos dejar lo de graduation o lo de anniversary okay, aniversario pero no podría ser to do porque como estamos preguntando where are es donde ¿Dónde, eh, como, ¿dónde vas a como dónde celebrarás. Where are you going to? Creo que no puedo usar do. Where are, porque, where, where, are, where, are, porque, what are you going? Porque es que what es como qué vas a hacer, pero uh -huh. where es dónde. Uh -huh. Entonces no, no suena como dónde vas a, no puede ser do. Where are you Al menos going? que lo cambiemos por el what. What are you going to do? Sí, ahí sí, ahí ah. sí funcionaría. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do for? ¿Qué mm. holiday le dejamos? Mm. Ellos tienen un, un, un día que se llama Memorial Days, que es que, como el día de, de los veteranos y de los caídos de guerra. No, no es así como muy... Muy conocido. Es, no es muy conocido y lo, y lo ocupan y, le, y les dan descanso. What are you going to do for Memorial Day? Podríamos poner ese. Sí, porque no se va a ver tan común. Sería, what are you going to do for Memorial Day? Uh -huh. Exacto. Ya estuvo. Ahí sí ya tenemos los cinco. Los cinco, sí. Eh, la primera era qué es lo que haría el día Mother de hoy. Ajá. What are you going to do for Mother Day? Sí. El segundo era what are you go, what, what are you going o gonna what are you oh. gonna do for Christmas Day? Sí. El tercero es how how are you going to Celebration Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. El cuarto, where are you going to, to go on the weekend? Y el quinto es, what are you going to do for Memorial Day? Sí, exacto. Okay. Ya terminamos la tarea. Sí. ¿Y usted terminó, terminó todo lo que, lo que dejó ayer para subir a la plataforma? Sí, ya terminé la sección 1 y empecé la 2. Ahora. Uh, uh, ya estoy en la noche, pero sí terminé todo lo que había dejado. Pero hoy, hoy no he visto las lecciones de este día. Ah, yo sí las estuve repasando. <ríe> no, no me quedó tiempo. No, igual acabo de terminar después que salí del trabajo. Me puse uh -huh. a repasarla. <ríe> ¿Y trabaja en línea o le toca ir a su trabajo? Ah, pues por el momento en línea. Ah, está bien. Eh, vamos a quedar mal acostumbrados, ¿verdad? Sí, es cierto. De acá. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer, please. I am teacher. Okay, Maritza. 
Maritza. Yes. Ask um, the questions. Yes. Um, when are you going to room thirty? Yes. Yes. Where are you going to run on Saturday? Uh, on Saturday. On Saturday. El Salvador. Uh, thank you. Very good. Another volunteer. Yolanda. Hi, teacher. Oh, Evelyn. Excellent. Let me listen to your examples. What? Are you going to do for Christmas Day? Okay, what are you going to do on Christmas? Excellent. Yolanda, one example. Where are you going to go for Mother's Day? Perfect. Where are you going to go for Mother's Day? Marco Antonio. Where are you going to be on your birthday? Very good. Where are you going to be on your birthday? Uh, Mabel, continue. Where are you going to be on your birthday? Mabel Ramos. No? Nobody? Okay, Maria Jose. Okay, where are you going on the weekend? Perfect. Where are you going on the weekend? Uh, now we are going to go ahead and move forward. And I would like for us to look at the following activity. Do you have any questions at this moment? Uh, yes, I have one question. Yes, Yolanda, what is your question? Uh, it's about the rule uh, to use on in the sentences special day plus verb to be plus mm -hmm. on plus month and plus date. Okay. I don't know. It's always it's obligatory to use on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. yes, yes. When you are referring to the specific date. Mm -hmm. You must always use the preposition on. For example, At? on my birthday, specific date. But teacher, on in the conversation, happy birthday. In the conversation, happy birthday. Uh, when Philip uh, answered the question, uh, he said it's August 9th Sunday. What? Why? What? The, uh, he don't use doesn't use it's on August 9th. I don't know. Oh, because he is um, using it verbally, but grammatically, it's necessary to say on. So, okay. informally, in conversation, American people just say, um, see you Saturday. My okay. birthday is Friday, right? Because they're talking. But grammatically, it's necessary to use on, on Friday, on okay. Christmas, on my birthday. Mm -hmm. In this case, the correct uh, answer is, it's on August 9th. It's on August 9th. No, 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 okay, no. Okay, thank you. No. Let me see. It's in August. Okay, it's in August. Is the month is on August 9th. Correct. That would be this correct. Is the correct. Because okay, it's a you. specific date. When it's okay, only you. the month, you say in. In August, in September, in October, in January. But when it's a specific date, we use on. On July 4th. Okay. Thank on you, Mother's Day. Correct. Okay. Okay. Thank now, you. Now, yes. Now, what we're going to do is look at knowledge check. Instructions. 
complete the conversations with the correct forms of be going to. Follow the example. Instructions. Complete the convers complete las conversaciones con la forma correcta de be going to. Siga el ejemplo. Number one, how are you going how are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Conversation one. Who are you? Who are you going to invite? Very to... good. Going to invite is correct to Thanksgiving dinner. Perfect. All right. So I want everybody to complete this activity in pairs. We're going to change partners. Change partners. Are you ready? Let's go. Yes. Todos tienen que ingresar. Tatiana, Maritza, Roxana, tienen que ingresar. No veo que han ingresado. Tatiana Cubías, Maritza, Roxana, necesito que entren a la sesión privada, por favor, al grupo pequeño. Ok, but, but I'm doing, uh, okay. Eh, veo que está Roxana Maya y Maritza Padilla. Pueden trabajar en parejas. Voy a poner a sus parejas juntas. Es María, ok, en la tres. All right, Tatiana, María, ok. All right, work together, girls. Work together. Hi, Maritza. Ya todos están en parejas. Eh, Maritza, ¿estás allí? Oh, no, veo que Maritza no está. Eh, Roxana, te voy a poner con Roxana, Roxana, Roxana. Ok, Roxana, te voy a poner con Nelson y René en las cinco. Ok. Tienes que darle clic al botón que dice ingresar. Ahorita no me aparece. Ah, ok. Y veo que tal vez eh, he visto casos así. Eh, esto quiere decir que su internet es un poco lento. So, por eso es que no le está llegando eh, la invitación como debe de ser. Tal vez si se puede acercar sí. un poquito más al router y le pudiera ayudar. Sí, me llegó. Sí, me llegó. Pero, pero lo que sucede es que sin querer me busqué y me, me sacó. Ok. Eh, voy a mandarte en el 3 con Mario, María y Tatiana y de ahí te voy a mandar de nuevo para René y Nelson en las 5 te tiene que llegar si no te llega es porque es tu internet ¿Nada? No Ok, ah, pues sí es tu internet que no llega muy bien. En este caso, lo que te recomiendo que vamos a hacer es trabajalo tú sola en la plataforma porque veo que tu pareja no está ahí y después vamos a chequear todos juntos. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Estamos trabajando la 1.11. 1.11. Y en esa parte, como es negativa, se le tendría que anteponer el not antes del going. Y a mí me quedó, I don't know, I am not going to do anything special. <ríe> me perdí, perdí. Este, me dijo, I don't, 
I don't know. I am uh -huh. not going to do anything special. Okay. Ay, como era en un auxiliar como de forma negativa, entonces eh, investigué si le tendría que anteponer el not, el not a la palabra going to do. Y ya lo demás ah. estaría bueno. Sí, porque no me la aceptaba buena. Vaya, la siguiente. How are you parents going to celebrate your? Um, sí. How are you parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? Eve. <clears throat> y la otra. Um, they are going to go to Terry neighbor party. Sí, going to go sería la respuesta. Going to go. Hey, what is your sister going to do for her birthday? Birthday. What is your sister going to do for her birthday? Y la última me quedó her boyfriend going to take her out to diner. Going to take. take. También todo. Se le salieron bien. ¿no? Pues sí, a mí también. Mm, vaya. Creo que solo eso vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Sí, solo era completar el ejercicio este, según entendí. Sí. Ajá. ¿Qué esperas? Sí.
All right, let me have a volunteer, please. One volunteer, please. Can I have a volunteer at this oh. moment? Oh. On, on question, teacher? Yes. Um, hi. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Who um, are you um, going to invite? Who mm -hmm. going to invite? Mm -hmm. Thank, Thanksgiving dinner? Uh, I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. Excellent. What, what I'm you want? Yes? going to ask I'm, my I'm, family and some good friends. Perfect. Conversation okay. number two. Okay. What are you going to do? So, hello. Somebody, somebody. Conversation number two. Volunteer. Me. Okay. What are you going to do for are Halloween? You going to do for Halloween? Perfect. The next one. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to do anything special. Excellent. I'm not going to do anything special. Perfect. Conversation number three. How are your parents? Um, let me have the next volunteer. I am teacher. Okay. How are you parenting going to celebrate New Year's Eve? Eve. Celebrate Eve. New Year's Eve. Celebrate New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Reina Acosta. Hello. Next. Yes. They are going to go to their neighbor's party. Perfect. They're going to go to their neighbor's party. The next one is going to be Evelyn Alvarado. Evelyn Alvarado. Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, conversation number. Correct. Mm -hmm. Conversation number four. Four. Ha. What is your sister going to do birthday? What is your sister? Oh, going perdón. To what is your do? going to do for her birthday? Perfect. Perfect. All right. The next one, Marta Luz. The next one, Marta Luz. Okay. Uh, her boyfriend I'm going to take her out to dinner. Very good. Her boyfriend is going to take her out for dinner. Oh, what? Yes, Nama's going to take. Uh, going her to boyfriend come going to take. Is go very good. All right, going to go. There it is. Excellent. Going to invite, going to ask, going to do, not going to do, going to celebrate, going to go, going to do, is going to take. Perfect. Now, for the following activity, we are going to look at the next exercise. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary 
for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Special occasions. Listen, please. Special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day. Father's Day. Graduation. Wedding. Anniversary. Send cards. Give presents. Take pictures. Sing songs. Dance. Eat cake. Have a party. Have a picnic. Eat special food. Wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work All right, so for this activity, I want you to write seven sentences, siete oraciones, using Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary, one, two, three, four, five, six, usted la va a agregar, and seven, Usted la va a agregar. Originals. Any questions? Okay. Cuando I have a little question. I'm yes. Sorry. Yes. Uh, we are going to use the verb wear we're, uh, when we are talk about clothes. That is correct. Oh, yeah. Wear a tie. tie. Yeah. Uh, Hi. Yes. Teacher, for what uh, apostrophe is Mother's Day and Father's Day? Ah, because it's a possessive. It's a possessive. possessive. Mother is Mama. Mother's Day, Dia de la Mama. So, el possessivo is apostrophe S. Father, papa. Father's day. Dia del papa. It's a possessive. Possessivo. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now you are going to write and I want you to share your work here in the discussion forum in pairs i want you to give me at least seven sentences seven sentences in pairs are you ready let's go
y Ajá. dijo de que hiciéramos 10 oraciones este, usando el Mother's Day, Mother's Day, Day, Father's Day, Graduation, graduation Weddings y Anniversary. Y que le agregáramos otras dos más como opciones, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y, con, y que utilizáramos el, lo de la izquierda, Send Scars, Give Present, Take Picture, Sing Songs. Ah. Ahí, yes. Ajá. Ok, esa parte. Ok, bye. Ajá, Vamos a ver. Bye. Empezamos con Mother Space. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vale, quiero ver. Sería solo que yo no tome captura. Se tomó captura. Uh, Vaya, voy sí, entonces a ver. Que yo no... Ajá, voy ah. a ver entonces la. la... Tal vez en, ¿La el, en el. Ajá, en el. Ajá. Ahí, Ahí está. Con... Ya está cargando para que lo, para que lo podamos ver. Vamos a ver en YouTube, lo voy a poner. Podríamos utilizar el Mother's Days con el Send Scars. Ajá. Ajá, también. Pictures. I'm going to. I'm going to. Send cars. Ajá. Uh -huh. For. For Mother's Day. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mother's Day. Sí, Ajá, para el día de la madre. Sería una. Ajá. Para la otra. Sería con, para Father's Day. con Father's Day. Ajá. Ok, entonces sería I'm going también. Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm going to give present. Ajá, uh -huh. to give present. Uh -huh. Give present for Father's for Day. Uh -huh. Father's Day. Father's Day. Luego, ajá, para la graduación, pues, se, sería take pictures. Ajá. I'm going to take pictures. Take for graduation. For graduation. Vaya, número cuatro. Um, sing songs. <laughs> para la graduación. Ah, no, para la. <laughs> Ajá. Uh -huh. Wedding. <ríe> no, ¿verdad? Wait. Vamos a cantar canciones en una voz. Ajá. Uh -huh. <ríe> en el aniversario mejor. Ajá, uh -huh. vamos a ver. También puede ser take, take pictures, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? También puede ser tomar bueno, fotografías. Mm. Y you present. Take pictures. Uh -huh. Or número cinco. Vaya, por ejemplo, si yo no quiero usar I am, entonces si quiero decir they, entonces sería they are, ¿verdad? They are going to eh, sí. take pictures. For wedding. Going to. Uh -huh. eh, luego sería anivers anniversary. Anniversary. Uh -huh. 
Y si, sí, por ejemplo, ahí usamos Java Party, para el aniversario vamos a tener una fiesta. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Está bien. Are going to... We are. Ajá, we are going to have a party. For anniversary. Uh -huh. Y el otro que, que agregaríamos ah, sería okay. birthday. ¿Cuál? Cumpleaños, digo yo. Ajá, birthday. Ajá, uh -huh. birthday. Vaya, entonces, how a picnic. Ajá, sí. Vaya. Oh, yeah. it's a special food, ¿verdad? También podría sí. ser. Ajá. Entonces sería I am going to going to have a picnic. Have a picnic. A picnic for oh. my birthday. Birthday. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back. Let me have one volunteer, one volunteer, one volunteer, please. I am teacher. Okay, let me hear you. Uh, I am going to a special diner, perdón, diner for Christmas. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. I am going to go to a special dinner. For Christmas. For Christmas. Enrique. Uh, good evening. Good uh, evening. I am going to eat cake on Mother's Day. Perfect. I am going to eat cake on Mother's Day. Marco, Antonio. On Mother's Day, I'm going to record a video. On Mother's Day, I'm going to record a video. Perfect. Another volunteer. I am teacher. Evelyn Alvarado. Um, I'm going to dance my sparring anniversary. I am going to dance with my parents on our anniversary. Perfect. Somebody else. I'm going to Sonsonate for my best friend's weddings. Excellent. I'm going to go to Sonsonate for my best friend's wedding. Perfect. Another one. I'm going to have a party for Children's Day. Perfect. I'm going to have a party for Children's Day. Another volunteer. I'm going to buy a flower for... Very good. I'm going to buy a flower for Valentine's Day. Perfect. Another example. I am going to wear a special clothes for my son children day. Excellent. I'm going to wear special clothes for my son's children's day. Excellent. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to work on the following activity. At this moment, does anybody have any questions? No. Let's look at section 114, scanning and skimming. Happy birthday, listen please. birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. 
Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. <laughs> Qué bonito en Francia, verdad? Para tu cumpleaños, tú tienes que invitar a la gente. No, la gente te invita a ti. Qué fallo en Francia. Prefiero Salvador. <laughs> All right, guys. Eh, para esta actividad eh, van a escribir una pequeña historia similar a esa acá en el discussion forum acerca de una celebración que usted ha vivido o que va a vivir. Okay. All right. See you All tomorrow. Right. Good night. Good night. Take care. God bless you. Tomorrow. Sweet Good dreams. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. 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 Good